All right, breakfastballs.golf here. Today we're gonna to talk about Vice, Vice Pro Plus. Now back in 2012, there's these two dudes that decided to start a random golf ball company. The rumor is they might've came from this little company called the Kushnet, but there's no way to know. And rumors are rumors. So anyways, they created this brand new golf ball that seemed like it was very similar to other golf balls around there. But the big thing about this company is that they decided not to do any investment with sponsorships, player marketing, things like that. They decided to take that and put it back in the price of golf balls, but still create an amazing golf ball that they say compares to the best around. So today we're going to review the Vice Pro Plus golf ball. It's a four piece construction. So you have your four different pieces there. Okay, compression rating of 86, similar to that Pro V1. They're telling us that they have the thinnest cast urethane cover around, which they say is gonna give us enhanced feel and the best spin that you could ever have around the greens. That's interesting, I'm curious about that one. They say that they're gonna have a low launch and flight, ball flight, but again, the highest spin around. I'm curious with this thin cover, how durable this ball is gonna be and how often we're gonna to need to change it out because of scuff marks. Either way, we're gonna go play 18 holes with it. We're gonna show you a bunch of our shots and then we're gonna come back and tell you what we think. Balls.golf here. All right, just played 18 holes with the Vice Pro Plus golf ball. Remember, Vice says this should be just like the Pro V1X. Is it? No. It's actually very different. Similar ball performance, very similar. The ball is much softer feel than we do have in the Pro V1X. The spin is the same, if not a little less. Get a bunch of bunch more distance though. The one thing I did notice is that it was less consistent than the Pro V1X. Not sure if that has to do with that super thin cover. And they also have an enhanced core, a little bigger core. Because usually when you sacrifice spin and feel for distance, that's what happens. This was distance. I did get a ton of distance on this. I was very surprised on that. Um, the launch angle, as you saw, that was that low, kind of to mid, a little windy today, so that changed a little bit, but overall, I thought that was that was consistent, but it was a ball that did spin, as you saw. So I would I would say this is a long ball that spins. I just don't think it's as accurate as, as other uh, versions of that X, the TP5X Pro V1X. What about the durability of the cover? Because that was the one thing that, okay, that's great that this ball is less expensive, but is it gonna be durable? The answer is not as durable as what the competitors are. So that super thin urethane cover does affect that durability and those balls getting scuffed up much quicker and, and it makes sense because it's that, it's that thin cover, right? So, um, but it is a very good ball and I might play with this a couple more times and, and, and do some more experience with it, which is what you should do, right? Why don't you try it out? Head on to breakfastballs.gov. We're selling all Vice products. We're selling Vice Pro Plus. We're selling Vice Pro, Pro Plus Red. Vice Pro Plus, and I think this is the coolest green I've ever seen. It's like an optic green, coolest one out there for a fraction of the price of new. So Vice is already less expensive. Breakfastball.gov will make it even less expensive for you. 
console, go out there, go over there to that site, check it out, buy some of these babies, and let me know what you think. Because regardless of what any of us think, you gotta love your ball, you gotta love how it looks, you gotta love how it feels, that's gonna make you lower your scores. So head over to breakfastballs.gov because we're giving you a breakfast ball in every single tee. Not just the first baby and at a fraction of the price.